Okay, I'm back. And man, I, I had to do a little bit of thinking about that whole thing. That was just crazy. So we have three options. And the more I'm thinking about it, I really think we're gonna go with Molar. Now there's a few reasons for that. They're all decent choices. Halitosis is also a great choice. I have never used a Hippopotas either. I love trying out new Pokemon in Nuzlocks and Wedlocks. I know it's not always the smartest move, but this is also not a bad Pokemon. This thing can be really good against a lot of things later on in the game. So like it gets the elemental fangs, I'm pretty sure. It gets a lot of things. It actually will not get in Crown's way as much as you think, thanks to uh, steel type. So I actually think it's a good synergy. It's gonna be a little harsh having the dual weaknesses to grass until Crown evolves though. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think we're gonna go with Molar just because I think uh, I've used Ghastly and Gengar and stuff like that enough. I'm not saying I'm not going to use them ever, but I just feel like it'd be nice to give a new Pokemon a chance. So, let's go ahead and do that. We are going to add Molar to the team, which I don't think I have the female, like, sprite thing for Hippopotas. It uses the Dream World art, in case you guys are wondering. Are the Pokemon Global Link? Yeah, do I, I think they even have female version. Yeah, I, I didn't add it in my script. I might see if I can recolor it between episodes or something. Uh, male Hippopotas look like, well, like what you see right now in the layout. And female Hippopotas have their colors kind of inverted. So a lot of people think that they're shiny. No, that's not the case. But I don't believe they make, um, I don't think they make, uh, they make that for the global link, so that's kind of a shame. Wait, unless maybe, maybe I got it. No, I don't think I have it, so that's fine. Um, all right. Anyway, let me go ahead and heal. And yeah, then I, ugh. we gotta do some training. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Yeah, we gotta probably do that. I think I could have gotten by without that when it was just braces, but yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. There's something else I need to do. <laughs> that quick law. We had no problems until I put that thing on. So yeah, I, you know, I am pretty darn superstitious about that. I will be honest. And that's why, wait, this isn't right. Um, there we go. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine. So, yeah, um, I need to, I need to figure out what I wanna do next. I guess I should take a look if there's any moves that I can learn or what moves do you even have? Cause I was thinking about places to train and I think that the uh, the Pokemon breeders would actually be a great place for both Molar and Braces to train. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, what do you have, Braces? You have garbage moves. Very, very garbage. Okay, can any of you learn anything remotely good? Or are we gonna have to just kind of deal with it? Cause I don't think there's anything I can teach really. All right, what do you have? Tackle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wasting a hard scale on that. Okay, next up, what about braces? Braces has tackle and protect. All right, neither of these are good moves. All right, so so much for that. That's fine though. I'm sure they'll learn interesting moves. Uh, I also have Rock Tomb, right? Yeah, I still have that, which could be uh, uh Poke Guy. This is a Nuzlocke. This is a Wedlock, actually. 
So it's, <laughs> it's pretty tough. We're gonna run into some problems. Yeah, so I could teach that to either braces or molar. And I feel like molar would be the, uh, the better choice. Well, no, actually, I don't know. When does braces learn some moves? I gotta look at their moves. You know, I was only looking at like, I was just thinking about it, but I don't actually know what they learn because I haven't used either of these. So let's see. Oh, I do have dig, that's a good point. All right, let me take a look really fast here. So we're getting really nothing leveling up until like 40, actually it'll be later than 43. That's kind of a shame. But it's okay, so we'll have to definitely invest some TMs into braces. Um, dig is an option. Yeah, so I think we'll probably give Rock Tomb, because you don't even learn... You learn Ancient Power at level 28, but that's hardly good. Although your attack and special attack seem to be the same. Alright, what about Bastiodon? You know, ancient power might not be that bad. We're gonna have to be like really defensive. Toxic might be a good choice here too. Hmm. Cause yeah, your attacking stats are really bad. So we have to go with more of a defensive strategy. Um. Rest would be a really nice option for you. Come to think of it, that actually wouldn't be bad. Okay, so... What else? What do I need to think here? We need to look at... Hippopot... What do you learn? You learn... Some pretty good moves. Earthquake at 37 as a Hippopotas. Whoa, 500! Oh, nice! 500 cupcake bits from Woo Masters! Just getting their shiny poiple. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I know you've been going for that for ages. Congrats on getting that. That is very, very good. How long did it take? Or how many, uh, how many resets for it? Because that is quite the achievement. Okay, so no dig. That's kind of a shame. But I do at least get Earthquake at 37. Now, it evolves at level 34, so I don't know. I might just hold off until 37 to evolve. Nah, it's only level 40 then for Earthquake, so it's probably not even that big of a deal. I could get it three levels early. We'll kind of see. Where I'm going with that. Alright, so what about TMs? You can't learn dig, so we might as well teach dig to like braces. Um I think that'd be good. Then you can learn rock tomb, but you don't get stab. So I guess we're just gonna teach like rock tomb to braces and probably dig to braces and then I don't actually know what else. Wait, Payback. All right, who among you can learn Payback? Uh, no one relevant. <laughs> That's a shame. Oh, it took you since the seventh. Wow, that's a long, it's a long struggle in getting that, but I'm glad you finally got it. Oh, I guess I do have Strength. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, I'm going to need that eventually anyway. Oh, speaking of HM moves, I guess I need to put Fly on Fang now. Hmm, I don't really want to get rid of Pluck, to be honest. I think I'm gonna have to. I don't want to, but... I really want to keep Cross Poison. I want to keep all these moves, especially Bite. We're going to need Bite for the next gym. Uh, I don't like it. I really wanted to put Fly on... Um, on uh, Floss, but oh well. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, I think I can leave the title as it is. 
We fought Wake today, so I think that's reasonable enough. Alright, well, we're getting rid of it. I need Fly. In any way you look at it, we did have a death to him. Okay. And then, I guess Strength, maybe? Um, actually, Stealth Rock. I feel like that might not be a bad idea on Braces. Because Braces is kind of going to be there for the long haul. You don't have a lot of attack anyway that I think actually that might work out well. We'll have to see. I'm not going to do it right now, but that could be a good option. Um, alright, but Rock Tomb. Let's definitely go for that so you have a Rock-type move. Polar is a lot less in need of things like that. Taunt... Metal Sound. We do not need Metal Sound. Iron Defense would be pretty good. Alright, let's get rid of Rock... or er, uh, Metal Sound for Rock Tomb. You can't learn Reflect, right? Yeah... Oh, no one can now. That's really sad. Okay, what about Dig? So, yeah, um, probably braces, I would imagine. We don't really need it right now. Okay, so. I should probably train. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, they have the same music. <laughs> nice! Uh, alright, wait, yeah, it's over here. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah, if I recall, you use, like, Pikachu and stuff. Which, you know, in all honesty, maybe I should just fight the one with the Clefairy. Well, I'm a little worried. A little worried. Ah, uh, we'll probably be fine. Okay, so I need to use... Need to use, uh, Versa Seeker. Go ahead and put that thing up top. Let's put the bicycle up top. Ah, darn it. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Register that. We'll ride the bike. Oh, that training! I think it'll be good, though. I think it's kind of important. Alright, well, we'll fight you. Uh, I mean, hopefully this will work. I don't know how strong they're gonna be, though. I don't think they get stronger. If I recall, I think they stay weak. Oh yeah, that's right, that sand stream. We're streaming, guys! We're streaming! <laughs> oh man, we are streaming. Oh no, now we're asleep! That's not good. Um... Could you wake up, please? That'd be really nice. No! Oh, no! All right. Okay, that didn't do very much, but jeez. Ugh. I'm like, okay, this thing doesn't get magic leaf, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> erp -a -derp. Well, so much for that. You copied yourself, okay. 
Nice crit, by the way. Well, this seemed like a good idea, but I don't think so anymore. We're gonna have to find someone else to train against. Uh, I don't really know off the top of my head who would work, because these are the ones that I usually train against. Hmm. Okay, Clefairy, we're just gonna take this thing out. Oh man, all right, good. That thing's gone. Now let me switch over to Molar so I can switch back. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know if Clefairy will have Magical Leaf. I don't think it will. Because I think it's just Cleffa that gets it. So unless they have, like, a custom move. Okay, what are you doing? Are you seriously going to... Oh, bubble Beam. Okay, that's fine. What can I bite? What can I bite with Molar? I really need to do some damage. I really need to. Or I guess we could just have, like, Fang train and then Braces take out this Hapini. Charm, though. All right, well, we'll just play around. <laughs> now I get a crit. I was just thinking, when was the last time I ever got a crit? Right, when it doesn't matter, that's when. Okay, I know that there's going to be a ton of trainers to fight, but I just like to get these two up to, I don't know, like level 27 or so, just so they're kind of caught up with everyone else. Because we still have route 20, uh, 212. Route 212. Ooh, but that kind of poses an interesting question. Where should I get my encounter on Route 212? There are a few places. Alright. Well, we'll figure it out, but for right now, I think that Cleffa Trainer is still not a bad idea. I think I just need to fight the, uh, fairy first. So we'll lead with Fang and Braces. Actually, hold on. If I do that, let me, let me move this experience share around. Okay, so I gotta actually hop on the bike manually. There we go. All right, come on. No! You must fight me. I want a rematch. Actually, let's go ahead and open this up, right? Oh no, I can't do that yet. I have to meet Cynthia first. Aren't Psyduck with headache standing in my way? What a great roadblock. Alright, let me just fight you, okay? You give me so much experience. Ah! Oh my gosh, come on. What is up with this?
There we go. Is there really a reason that they don't just have everyone fight? I mean, like, really? Does that really matter? I don't actually know. It just seems kind of pointless. It's like, all you do is waste time. All right, Fang. Have you sweep up these Cleffa. Uh, yeah, you can handle this thing. Yeah, I'd like to train against the rich people. They are totally what I usually go to, just because that money is nice. But the problem is I haven't fought them yet. And I wouldn't be able to handle Roselia with either braces or molar. So I could probably handle the Chatot with braces. Probably. Okay, now let's see if you can do this, braces. Come on, braces! All right, here we go. Let's stop that rock tomb. It was actually enough to knock it out, thank goodness. Uh, okay, this could take a while. Well, it's fine. I mean, we do have to uh, train up two more Pokemon. Uh, I'm not going to answer if I'm going to stream certain games or not. Currently, I'm streaming Pearl and Crystal and either Ultra Sun or Breath of the Wild while also doing Fire Red Wedlock videos on YouTube, so I'm not going to say yes or no because then people just will ask, Hey, when are you doing this? You said you were doing it. When are you doing it? When? 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 <laughs> it's like, nope, not getting into that one. Nope. All right, let's see. We can just get her to actually, you know, fight me again. That'd be nice. There we go. You learned a lot since the last time we met. You know we just met like a minute ago. <laughs> uh, how much did you learn? She learned a lot. That's how much. <laughs> That's how much she learned. Oh, man. Don't worry, I was gonna hit you anyway, Clefairy. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Races. Hey, guys. I'm really glad you, you want to talk and have a good time. I'm not interested in answering anything about Coliseum or XD, to be honest. This is not what I meant to do. Like, I'm, I'm just not interested in answering. So if you want to ask about it, all right. But I just don't really feel like talking about it. I like to talk about... Pearl or platinum or something right now. <laughs> this thing doesn't even have any damaging moves. Nice. Wow, I should actually taunt it next time. That's actually really effective. All it could do was struggle. Beautiful. These guys actually give pretty decent money. I mean, 864, that's not that bad.
Oh, good. You actually want to fight again. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> they make Diamond Pearl remakes, which one will I get first? I probably won't get either. I'll probably just play Diamond and Pearl again. I'm not at all interested in Diamond and Pearl remakes. Okay. Here we go. We're following this thing again. gonna be a while before Molar gets anything to use. It's like 20... 25 you get Sand Tomb. I guess that's at least something. Oh, right! I was gonna go for that Taunt Strat. <laughs> there we go! Did I play Diamond and Pearl when it first came out, or did I wait a long time? No, I actually got it in Japanese, so I played it before it came out. And that was probably one of the best decisions of my life because had I not have done that you guys probably wouldn't know who I am today it was that important I have not used a cling clang before Uh, grind. I mean, I guess there is the possibility of I could just train up Pokemon like Incisor and Enamel. Which actually, to be honest, that's not a bad idea because... Hold on, I can fly now. I could just fight against that rich couple. Because... Uh... Well, I don't know what I could do against the Roselia. Hmm. I just feel like that might give... Actually, that's not going to give more experience. It's going to train up incisor and enamel. It's going to give me a lot of money, but I don't get a lot of experience for this. I think I'm still going to be a little better right now. With, uh... Training against the Hapini. I think. Dark Starmie subscribing for six months in a row now, saying, already scrolled up. Uh, so crazy to think I've been watching you since the Diamond Walkthrough. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate that. Glad you've been tuning in for such a long time. Um, you know what? We're gonna do another 20 minutes of this grind. And then we'll do a little exploring, I think when we get back from the break. But let's see how that goes. So that way, this is the training episode. <laughs> you know, I thought we wouldn't have it again, but here we are. Because otherwise, otherwise people might skip that. And you know, if I run into some trainer that I was not expecting and then, you know, if it was in a training episode, I don't want to have anything else die in a training episode. That's not cool. That's not cool. Alright, so... What are you guys doing? Well, you're doing alright. I'm a little mixed right now. I'm still so sad over what happened to Wisdom and Floss. Like, seriously, that was really sad. Jedi Aster with 1500 bits! Holy moly! Thank you so much for all those Kappa bits. <laughs> really appreciate that. That is awesome.
Uh, what's the delay between the stream and when it's up on YouTube? I post these at 10 p.m. Central Time the following day, so it's about 30 hours. Well, I start posting them. I post them typically at 10 p.m. the following day, and then uh, 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. at the day after that. I have no clue who's going to be on my team the longest. That's honestly a question you'll have to figure out the answer to. Because it's very much an opinion thing. I don't ever like to kind of mention or talk about who I think is going to be around or who I want to see make it to the league or whatever. Like, I don't like to do that. Uh, I'm not talking about canceled series, Liam. My video explains the deal with that. All right, go faster, come on. Stop raining. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, man. Come on. At least it does go a little bit faster. In Diamond and Pearl, like, I think this is a really good implementation of the Versus Seeker. Fire Red and Leaf Greens is nice, but I feel like it takes a lot more steps. The grind. Well, remember, I'm getting like 900 experience. Plus whatever Fang is getting. Per fight. So this is actually not that bad. It's a little slow, but... Honestly, I think it's not that bad right now. You know, I bet you Clefairy has Wake Up Slap, so I couldn't even use Braces. I'll have to be mindful of that. Even though I bet you Braces could take it. Because Braces is going to be pretty tough. I mean, with that kind of defensive power, I think Braces could take a quad effective hit. Uh, Koopa King, I am sorry if you're bothered by spoilers of what happened in this stream, but it happened in this stream, so people are more than free to talk about what happened in this stream. I don't want anyone spoiling the Fire Red wedlock, let's say, because a lot of people may not have watched that, but uh, as far as things that happen in this stream, you are perfectly free to discuss whatever happened, and... Uh, you know, that's... I don't consider that spoiler at all. If it's something that does bother you, again, you know, maybe wait until the YouTube version is up so you can watch it there. Yeah, Fire Red, Wedlock, we're not going to talk about spoiler things there, or if anyone dies like that. If you're going to be talking about that while I'm streaming, you're going to probably get a timeout. <laughs> so don't, don't do that. You're more than glad to talk general things about it, like if you're enjoying it or whatnot. But, you know, I, again, because not everyone may be watching that, uh, as soon as it comes out, it's just important to be respectful. Uh, okay. 
Uh, yeah, I have a Fire Red Wedlock, Ryan Time. I have that over on my YouTube, but I've also been posting it on Twitch. As like a premiere, as it's called, so you can tune in and watch it with Twitch chat at the same time every day. It goes up at the same time on uh, Twitch as it does on YouTube, so the only thing is, if you're not there for when it goes live on Twitch, you know, it'll be like a TV show where if you tune in five minutes late, you can't just rewind it. There's no DVR for that. You can watch it on YouTube then, but if you watch it on Twitch, you get the Twitch chat kind of tuning in as well, which is kind of cool. It's a good way to watch it. It's kind of fun. I used to tune in for each, but I'm not going to be doing that like all the time. I'll still probably tune into the gym leader episodes though. Because I feel like those are pretty hype. Unless I'm busy that day. I did not do a honey tree. <laughs> I forgot about it. I'll have to try to remember on Monday. I also didn't have fly on anyone, so... That was kind of a problem. Uh, the episodes are about... 20 to 25 minutes most of the time? Yeah, Ringo, Kyoko. Uh, watching it live is kind of neat. It's totally optional. If you prefer YouTube, it's still on YouTube. It's not a live stream, but it's kind of like watching it on TV. So you would be able to tune in with you know some of the Maryland community watching it as it's airing, so to speak. Like, the moment it starts airing, which is kind of fun. I think it's ironic I picked each starter type across my playthrough. What do you mean by that? Oh! No, now I understand. Yeah, because Crystal, I had a fire type. That's right. Yeah, I guess I have all three of the types in all three of my my video series going on right now. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice that. What's my favorite music track in Pokemon? Uh, probably the Xerneas and Evil battle theme. Like, I heard that, and I just, like... I, the soundtrack wasn't out at the time, so I would get to that point in editing the series, and I heard that, and I just had to keep rewinding that part of the footage over and over again just to hear that song. It was so good. All right, Sand Tomb. Thank you. Let's get rid of Sand Attack, because I don't think we really want that. Oh, dang. And in Games 27 saying, finally able to tune in, binged on YouTube for the past two days to catch up. That's crazy. That's awesome, though. Although, <laughs> if, uh, yeah, if you're just tuning in, you probably missed out on something you'll have to catch up on later. Some stuff happened. Oh, man. Uh, would you like us to tweet you to remind you about honey trees, or would that be a nightmare or annoying? I, it's probably fine. I, I'll, I should be able to remember this time. And if not, it's honestly not like a huge deal. Probably going to be a, uh, disappointment. But we'll see. Oh, nice job, Nitroxion, saying, Hello, Maryland. Just saying thanks about your advice on the last stream. Beat Lysander without any deaths. Almost lost to Ruli in the Azumarill, but she used Charm on Gyarados. Yeah, that's the stuff. And then I could finish with Verdant Turf the Venusaur. Now I'm preparing for the bridge battle. Best regards from Brazil. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad that went so well for you. That's a very scary fight. But as you can see, you know, you prepared for it. You did everything you could, and it sounds like you employed some good strategies, too. So that's great. Good luck with that bridge gauntlet, because that is... Oh, man. 
it can be surprisingly tough. It's just that you have to fight so many in a row. It's not that they are individually a high level, but the fact you have to fight them in a row is very painful. Am I going to change Muller's art next stream? I don't know. We'll see. It's easy, yeah. If it's hard, maybe not. But I'll try to get something together for that. If I forget, it's not a huge deal. Again, this is the official artwork, so it's kind of on them. Uh, yes. In a wedlock, if Roar switches you to a different pair, then that's the new active pair. So you leave, you leave whoever was roared out, you leave them out, and then you can't uh, switch out to anyone else, like, other than that Pokemon's partner. They are the new active pair. Uh, yeah, I did say after four badges I'd evolve an ammo. I didn't say exactly when after four. I'll probably do that at some point. But right now, I just want to focus on training up the new, the new Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll keep doing this. I'm trying to think if maybe Molar wouldn't be a bad idea against, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's try that out. This might work out better than I thought. Well, hold on a second. Have I ever done a Rainbow Lock? Uh, if you're talking about the Rainbow Wedlock, yeah, I actually invented that. Okay, we gotta walk through this grass just so I can ride. Well, now I find Bond's lie. Not that I need that thing. Yeah, I know that Braces can't learn a lot of Steel type moves, but Braces is gonna be really defensive. So, yeah. What? I thought I, uh, oh, my bad. Okay, so this guy uses Pikachu, like Pichu, Pikachu, and then Papini. So I'm thinking Molar might be a little bit better. If I invented any other locks. Um, well, I mean, Publicly, it's just been the wedlock and the rainbow wedlock. Privately, I've come up with a few personal variations, but they've not actually seen the uh, light of day. Okay, guy 493 is saying, Hey, Maryland, just getting into your YouTube channel. Have you done any Nuzlocks or wedlocks for X and Y? Oh boy, <laughs> you are gonna have. A lot of content to watch. I've actually done three separate Nuzlocke slash Wedlocks for X and Y on YouTube. I've done the, uh, the Y Wonder Wedlock series, which was no items in battle and no experience share and a Wonderlock. It was really brutal. <laughs> really brutal. And that was a live stream archive as well. That goes so far back too. Then there's also the X and Y sleep lock versus I did with Cephazon. And that was also pretty good. And then probably the best of the three was the X wedlock, which kind of had the same rules as the Y wonder wedlock, except it wasn't a wonder lock. And that was also very brutal. So. Yeah, I've done plenty there. If you are <laughs> looking for some X and Y stuff to watch, I feel like uh, those series probably won't disappoint. The, the sleep block was probably the one that, like, it's entertaining. It's not overly challenging, but it's entertaining because, you know, since it's a versus and a sleep block, we kind of don't have a lot of challenge in the game itself. It's more about the uh, trying to get through it in you know, 24 hours or so. 
Um, but yeah, then, oh man, it wasn't enough to, to take it out. That's a shame. And, but then the X wedlock and the Y wonder wedlock, they both have brutal rules. So you like to see some action. <laughs> You'll see some action, all right? There's some very tense moments. All right, Muller. Oh, I don't have the experience share on braces. Well, that's fine. I might just put the experience share on braces. And... I don't know. Uh... Let's see... Yeah, Sand Tomb will probably do a reasonable amount. Wow, not even enough. That's kind of sad. Uh, let's see. Would I ever con or would I ever consider sharing the rules to other variations of thought of? Uh, only if I've really like tested them out. Like there are a few different possibilities. I think I posted one or two of them either on Twitter or back when I used Tumblr every now and then. Like, I think I had some there. So, yeah, I don't know if that fight really went any better. <laughs> I feel like it didn't. Do you have... Or do I have, like, something that would help? I don't. That's a shame. Uh, I really want to get you to level 27, to be honest. Yeah, I was experiencing, or experimenting, rather, with a, a, uh, nature lock, or nature wedlock, which basically would have different effects that were constant on your Pokemon based on their nature, so you'd really have to learn their natures. But the problem with that is it takes so much paying attention to stuff like that that, you know, it's like, oh, I'm just gonna mess that up, and then people are gonna be like, oh, you messed that up because you didn't do something right. You have to remember, like, six different Pokemon, so. Uh, let's see. This isn't working. Come on. Come on. No. Three. There we go. That's what I want to see. Oh, hold up. Let's do the right thing. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, today's been interesting, <laughs> to say the least. I don't know, I wasn't feeling all that good right when I started the stream. Like, I think it might have been something I ate, and I don't know what. I did have some... It was kind of interesting. It was uh, some seaweed salad last night. Because I, I took my day off to go grocery shopping, because I haven't gone in a while. And I picked up some things, and they had... Uh, some seaweed salad and it spilled when I was taking it back or not really spill like it's in a container and then like it was tipped over when I was unpacking my groceries so inside of my like recycling bag thing or not recycling bag but like you know reusable bag it was like all this green nasty slimy stuff all over the bottom of the bag and all over my apples too which is really a shame I don't know if they're gonna be salvageable or not like I just I rinsed that bag off the best I could but now I'm looking in my fridge and there's this kind of big pool of water in there so now I'm thinking my apples are probably gonna be soggy <sighs> it's just it's sad so 
I don't know. But I'm kind of thinking, like, I just, I started feeling a little, a little, uh, a little off right after I started the stream. So I don't know if it was something I ate right beforehand or if it was that, because it could have been that from last night. But I just, I wasn't feeling all that good. Even right now, I'm not feeling great. But that's fine, you know, we'll get through it. It's all good. And then, you know, those deaths happening, it's like, oh, that really caught me off guard. I mean, we got through the tough fight, and honestly, that fight could have gone a lot worse, but, you know, those are two TMs I'm never going to get back. So, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of sad. That's why I don't like to just use TMs the moment I get them, because, you know, you could use them on something. Like, we didn't even use Grass Knot. That TM just got wasted, like, completely. But it's okay. Alright, I need to, uh... I need to hop down here. I need to heal. I'm running out of sand tombs. Have I tried an Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Nuzlocke yet? Off camera. If so, how did it go? Uh, I might have played around just with the early parts of it. I'm, I haven't gone very far. Alright, well... I think it is about break time. I'm gonna get up and stretch a little bit. Maybe grab a quick snack. I got some more trail mix when I was out. That's a good thing to have is like a snack between breaks because it just kind of has everything you need to keep going. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna save just in case. You know what, I'm still worried about this particular game card, but hopefully it will work out all right. Hey, thanks for the bits, Pokemar1. Glad you could stop by and see you later. All right, anyway, I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Unless you're watching on YouTube. In which case, if you're following it live, it'll be a little longer than a few minutes. But if you're following it in the future, then it should be available in the playlist if you keep watching.